All right, so I know I haven't made a tutorial in a really, really long time, but um, I'm finally gonna make a, a good amount of for you guys. I'm basically gonna redo a lot of my old tutorials and kind of update them for you guys. But specifically, this series is gonna be a seven video series, hopefully seven, maybe eight, maybe six. I don't know. I don't know for sure yet, but it's basically gonna be for anyone who's starting off editing for the first time. So if you're a beginner and you wanna get into editing, specifically soccer, but this could be, honestly, this can be used in any other sport. This could be used in maybe movies, TV shows, and all that stuff. Basically, if you're just starting off, you can learn a lot from this tutorial. Um, even though if it's right now that we're specifically doing soccer, you can still learn a lot. So yeah, so if you're a beginner and you want to learn how to edit, you want to learn how to make an edit from start to finish. And if you want, you can follow this series. If you don't want to and you kind of just want to watch like a specific video, then go ahead. But I would highly suggest if you're a beginner to start from the series from beginning to end because it will really guide you um, through the beginning and the end of an edit. So without rambling too much, I'm going to get started. Basically, the first episode is going to be syncing. Um, I know I already have all my clips laid out here and they're all I'm pretty sure they're yeah, they're all synced already. Um, I had recorded this episode earlier in the day and I realized after I finished recording that I had music in the background playing and copyrighted music that would get instantly blocked off on YouTube. So I'm only going to redo the intro and like basically the beginning of the sync um, for you guys. But um, I mean, that's all you really need to know. So like I said, without rambling too much, I'm going to go ahead and get started for you guys. I would say as you're starting this off, get your song, get a part of the song you want to use, grab all the clips that you need. And once you do that, we'll start off the syncing. And the syncing I'm going to be doing today is time remapping. Um, I don't use Twixer. I know a lot of other people use Twixer. I personally don't. Um, I like time remapping mostly because it's built into After Effects and you don't really need a plugin for it. And since you don't really need a plugin, that means anybody could do it, which, uh, which I really like. So, um, yeah, so this is going to be time remapping. Um, obviously, if you want to do Twixer, this is not the... This is not the syncing tutorial for you, but yeah, time remapping and I'm on uh, After Effects 2020. Honestly, I would say if you're new to editing, I would at least, at least try to get 2018 After Effects if you can't get a 2020 or 2021 version. Let me just put these clips over here out of frame so it's like we never, <laughs> I never messed up the first time. But um, actually, before we start, um, let me show you guys a song that we're working with. And so you guys kind of get a hint of everything. Um, honestly, I would say like the first thing you want to do is once you get a part of the song you want to use, you want to mark your beats. Um, I know there's a lot of editors who don't mark their beats, but honestly, if you mark your beats, it'll just be a lot easier for you. You wouldn't have to just like, I guess, listen to it for every time you try to sync something up or if you want something on beat. I know right away it probably won't be as easy to just see the beats and where they are right away but to me it's pretty easy like right here right here right here right here you see those little spikes like it's it's smooth and then there's a spike right there the spike a spike it's just it'll get easier as you go on um so i'm gonna go ahead and play the audio for you guys and let you guys hear it for yourself with the markers on there and you kind of seeing it and hearing it at the same time uh will make it a lot easier to like notice it and know what i'm talking about yeah, there's only one way out, it's through, I'm through and through I'm through and through, I'll find my way to you Though I'll admit it may take me some Um, so yeah, hopefully you really got picked up the pattern there and picked up the beats Um, but also just looking and listening to it, but That's the first thing I would say, once you get the part of the song you want to use Mark those beats so you don't have to worry about them and you don't always have to Say you're middle and you forgot where the beat was. And I was like, oh, like now I gotta take this audio form, this audio wave up again. But so if you mark your beats, you wouldn't have to do that. So that's the first, like right away. That's what I do. This is what I do. So let's go ahead and grab our first clip, and we have this nice messy clip. And just another note, um, I know um, sometimes a lot of people when they want to make an edit. They don't really use the best clips right away because they think it's really hard to like find clips, which it is to like, I guess, new people. It's really hard to find um, these high quality slow-mo clips, which is probably the best clips to use, by the way. That's why we overuse literally all the same clips because they're just so easy to edit with. If you can't find links and you can't find good, good videos, basically, 
don't be afraid to dm someone to ask them for links because like a lot of the stuff most people use are like overused anyway so if they hide it from you then they're just being weird for me personally i do have a discord i'm gonna pull it up right here for you guys and i have a links channel where we have uh where people ask for links and i do my best to kind of go through uh through them and try to find links for people so we have specifically like i said it's soccer football i know i'm sorry but um we have hamas we have holland we have vinicius we have Real felix we have neymar we have mbappe um and sufati we have old neymar and then i have this mega link that basically has like all the most like popular clips that i've collected over the years of messi ronaldo um neymar and i don't know who else is in there there's a good amount of people so if you join the discord and you go to the links channel then you'll find all that stuff like i said i'm sorry that it's just football and soccer um i'm also going to do my best to show you guys some shortcuts as well so instead of doing the whole right click and going to time and then enable time remapping that takes too long so let's control z to undo and the shortcut for time remapping is control alt t and it just brings it up right away like that it's just so much quicker honestly so if you learn shortcuts right away in the beginning of after effects you'll become so much quicker right away so let's go ahead and um pan through this and let's say i want this specific beat i want the ball to kind of like push forward a little bit more as it is in this clip so let's put it up a little bit and then at the end we're gonna have to put it a lot more further let's say about like right here and we're just gonna go ahead and cut this clip and to cut clips honestly i don't know how people cut their clips the long way maybe is that even a thing i don't even know but the shortcut i do is Control shift d and that cuts the clip and then you want to get rid of this excess um, edge right here so Control x or delete and then so you have your first set of keyframes these are your keyframes right here They're just indicators to show like what effect um is happening in that moment i would say i don't know how to explain that the best way for you guys but what you want to do next is a easy ease them so once again the long way you can do a key right click it keyframe assistant easy ease but if you just highlight all them and click f9 then you just easy eased all of them together so what you want to do next is go to your graph editor right here this little icon and once you click that you make sure that you're on a value graph and not speed graph. If you're on speed graphs and you see these humps, you're on the wrong one. Right click anywhere in the this little section and change it to value graph. So let's go ahead and look at our first two beats. So these, this little section right here is representing the, the graph between this keyframe and the middle keyframe right here. So just to show you guys, there's like many different ways you could graph stuff. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use like a little harsh like snappier graph that's way too fast in my opinion and that only works on certain songs um just to show you guys that there's so many different types of graphs you could do and you really just play around and have fun with it and find like one that you really like but um i would say try to go with the song so let's go ahead so so we just made these you know hard straight graphs that are pretty like snappy you'll see it's going to be very snappy and quick and too fast so once you do your graph and you get out of the graph editor what you want to do next is click on the layer and make sure you add motion blur and make sure you click on the frame blending twice so this first one this is this does not look good if you click on it one more time it just make it it just makes it look a little bit smoother so like i said make sure you click it twice and get the second one right here make sure you always have motion blur on as well so let's go ahead and review this um time remap like i said it's gonna be a lot snappier so it's probably not gonna look as good now there's only one way out it's through, through and through. so yeah so you saw right there it literally just seemed like i just cut the frames and it went so quick that's not what you want especially with a song like this um you kind of really determine the type of graphs you want by the song if you're using like an edgy song that's like quick and fast paced maybe this type of uh, graph will work, but for this song, this is not working at all. Just to reset everything, say if you did that graph right now and you don't like it and you want to like restart, but what you want to do is just highlight everything and click F9 again and it'll reset everything back normal, just like if you never did that graph. 
So let's go ahead and go in the middle of this. I, I mostly just like to put my indicator in the middle. I don't know why. I think it's like a, I don't want to say like OCD thing, but it's just in the middle, you know, you know where like the middle line is. Um, so let's go ahead and pull these graphs, these lines forward a little bit. And just another tip right here, this line right here, you don't ever want to put this line above above this square. So you never want to put it higher than the square. So see how I'm at this line and it's above the square over here. Yeah, you never want to do that. Same thing with this. You never want to put this line below this square. It just doesn't look good at all. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that same graph that I did onto this one. Like I said, don't go over and don't go under. And let's go ahead and review this timer map and see most likely how much better it's going to be. Only one way out, it's through, through and through. So yeah. Through and through. Yeah, that's already like 100%. Like, that's so much better. Um, Maybe like even, I'd probably like pull this a little bit more forward, pull this back. Out, it's through. Yeah, that's like 100% smoother than the first one that we did because the first one was way too harsh and way too quick. Um, so yeah, like I said, you want to do your graphs out of the song based on the song that you're using. I'm not going to go through every single uh, syncing for you, but um, I just want to show you guys like two on two different clips how to do them just so you get a general basis of how to do everything. So once again, control alt T to open the time room map. Um, let's go ahead and set our first keyframe and let's go to the middle right here and I kind of want this this part this beat when it happens I kind of want it to show right when he kicks the ball so let's go ahead and put it right when right before he touches the ball like right here then at the end we're gonna boost that ball all the way all the way like right here go ahead control shift D Control X to get rid of that excess part. Highlight your keyframes. F9 to easy ease. You go into your graph editor. Make sure you're on the value graph. Personally, I just like going in the middle. You don't really have to do this part. And let's do the same graph that we did on the last clip to this clip. Push this back a little bit more. Well, that looks good to me. Push this forward a little bit more. Push this forward. Not below it though. Now over. Everything's good. Get out the graph editor and let's make sure to add the motion blur and the frame blending. Go ahead and control S to save. Make sure you always save your project, especially if you're working on a lower end PC or even if you're working on a laptop. After Effects is a pretty strong program, so it will crash on you. It will like there's been so many times where I've had After Effects crash on me, especially when I'm doing such a big project and it's so annoying because you have to start over. So make sure you're always constantly saving. It's just going to help you out in the long run. So let's go ahead and review those two synced up clips. Only one way out, it's through, through and through. Oh, through, and through. Honestly, in my opinion, that was fucking beautiful. It was so nice. Perfect exactly what I wanted to do in this middle beat I wanted I wanted to show that that he kicks the ball and then it slows down right there so absolutely perfect in my opinion especially for the song too as well um so hopefully I covered all the stuff that I wanted to cover um so yeah I'm gonna show you the sped up clip of the rest of the sync that I did uh earlier in the day so you're gonna see the background is gonna change to like morning, I think. But um, yeah, I'm gonna roll that for you guys real quick. All right, so. Hopefully you liked uh, past Aqua and what he had to teach you guys, or well, you just saw me sped up syncing all these clips. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the final sync for this whole edit.
All right, so that's the full sync. Obviously, right away, it doesn't look like amazing. You know, your syncs aren't gonna look, I mean, just the sync, honestly, it's not gonna look like completely amazing. I've only had a few instances where I could like, well, I could literally just post the sync and it's like, it's that could be its own edit. But in this case, it's not like completely perfect, but that's why you do your transitions, your effects, your color correction and all that other stuff um, to really come and make the edit come together. But like I said, hopefully I didn't ramble too much and hopefully I put out some like good information. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it for episode one, which is just an updated way of how I personally like to sync. I would also say too, once you get down um, syncing and you could do it by yourself, like you don't have to keep looking up a tutorial and like you just, you got it down. I would say a really good plugin for um, people like yourself if you know how to sync is flow flow is in a really really fucking a really fantastic plugin that honestly is like a cheat code um for syncing so but if you don't know how to sync like manually like by yourself honestly i wouldn't recommend flow because i think you'll get too kind of confused with just this box right here um compared to like if you just want to zoom in like all the way or like I don't know I feel like some people would get confused and you know all these presets right here but if you know you got time remapping down and you know at this point it's just like a hassle like you gotta you gotta sync then flow is a really good plugin um but yeah it's really good obviously like how I usually do all my syncs I just do that and how you would do it is just highlight that and click apply and it does the sync for you right there um there's a lot of presets here too which i don't really use but yeah that's pretty much it um you could do your own favorite stuff i have a valorant sync because i don't sync valorant and when i finally got it right i wanted to save the preset and not lose it but um that's that's pretty you could do expressions i didn't know that um that's just a it's, just, it's a really good program basically but like i said if you're new to this is your first time syncing do not get this program you are not ready for it <laughs> like it's not i'm not saying it's advanced i'm just saying like i would rather have you as a new editor learn how to do everything manually first before you just rely on like that plug and just do it for you um so yeah that's pretty much it that's episode one hopefully i didn't miss anything important because i think i'm <laughs> my first syncing tutorial i think i didn't put on motion blur or something i forgot what i forgot but it was something like crucial that I missed and I totally just, it flew over, it flew over my head. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, that's it. So that's episode one. Um, like I said, six, maybe six, seven, eight episode series. I don't know for sure yet, but for sure. I know next uh, episode we're going to do transitions. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy that. And that's pretty much it for this one. So if you guys do like this series and want to continue following it, make sure you like, subscribe and put on post notifications because then you'll see when i put out the next tutorial which will probably be in like two three days from this because i just don't want to spam you guys with tutorials but um yeah that's pretty much it hopefully you guys like this series from beginning to end and how to finish and edit